Hi, welcome back. I'm so glad that you've decided to join me again. Today I'm filming right from where I'm gonna be giving all my tips and strategies and that's pantry organization. So I'm in my pantry. The first thing I want you to get is your label maker. If you don't have one, go on Amazon, get one. It is the best tool you can have for your ADHD. It's so helpful just to label things and make sure that you know where everything goes and belongs. I used my label maker to organize this pantry last summer. It's now the end of March. We're talking many months of actual sustained organization. This is the longest any part of our house has actually stayed so organized. I use it to label my shelves. So here we have spices, coffee, tea, and other drinks. And on the bottom, you can't see it, but it says breakfast and that's my breakfast shelf. In your pantry, you're gonna be creating zones. I'm gonna give you a list of zones that you wanna create. When I do that, you're gonna see me looking around because I'm gonna be looking at all my shelves to make sure that I've got all the zones for you. Okay, so if you got kids, you're gonna wanna make sure that the things that they go for the most are low down and the things that you're okay with them taking by themselves are at a level that they can reach. So in my house, that consists of snacks and cereals. So we have a shelf for snacks and another shelf for cereals and anything breakfast related. That's your first thing. Second thing is you're gonna wanna think about what you use the most that you need at a reachable level. And that's usually cooking related. Baking might be a little higher up where it's still reachable, but perhaps you're not using it every single day like you are with cooking. Depends on your lifestyle. So we're gonna have a shelf that's designated to oils, vinegars, condiments and any dressings. Then we're gonna have another shelf designated for spices. I have so many spices because we just love to use them. I prefer to make my own marinades as opposed to buying them. Although I do have store-bought marinades because there are nights and days where I don't have the energy or mental ability to start thinking of what marinade I'm gonna make. So in addition to spices, and oils and vinegars and condiments and all of that, then you're gonna have a shelf designated for grains. So that's any pasta, quinoa, rice, uh, rice noodles, anything that is grain related. And the other shelf that I have is, uh, is all designated for coffee, tea, and drinks. So again, I'm not sure if you can see it up here, but we've got our tea baskets and another basket for some stuff that is in boxes and loose leaf tea. And then we've got our coffees and a couple of drinks that are out of the camera shot. Um, in addition, I'm just looking around. We've got some storage. This pantry is nice and tall. So we have some storage space up above that I use for things that we might buy at, let's say Costco and we need, but we don't need it all right away. There's also a spot for cans, which I didn't mention before, have a spot for cans. And we have one of those can organizers for canned foods. And it is amazing. You can get that again on Amazon. There is no affiliation with me and Amazon. I just happen to love it. That's it for pantry organization. If you haven't already, remember to grab your free ADHD calendar roadmap. That is an entire system built around Google that it can be connected with all your calendars and your kids and your family and your spouse and whatever to make sure that you're all in one cohesive space. It's in the description below. Uh, the link to it is there. And if you need any additional support, there's some resources there as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.